Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. Microphones are absolutely critical when it comes to nailing the audio in your videos. If you're using the wrong one or you're not using any at all, then you can destroy all your hard work and your videos. Now there's a few different types of microphones and it can get a little confusing to work out which one is right for you and the different situations that you're going to be filming in. The two that I'm gonna run you through today are probably the most common. One is a shotgun microphone, which in this case is the Rode VideoMic Pro, and the other is a lavalier or a lapel microphone and the one I'm showing you here in this video is the Boya BYM1. So let's start with a shotgun microphone. Now this is one that you've probably seen before, especially if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, because people like Casey Neistat and other top vloggers, this is their primary source for capturing great audio for their daily or weekly videos. The reason this is such a popular microphone is because it's just a matter of turning it on, pointing it in the direction that you want to capture your audio, and you're away. It also doesn't make much sense for these vloggers to have to set up their lavalier microphones each time, and also this means that they don't need to be physically tethered to their camera. Shotgun microphones are ideal for capturing great audio from your camera location that's infinitely better than the built-in microphones on your cameras. Probably the biggest downside with using a shotgun microphone is that it will pick up a heap of extra background noise if the audio source that you're looking to capture is far away from the microphone. So if you're gonna interview someone and you're gonna use a shotgun microphone, then the closer they are to the microphone, the better the audio will be. The further away they are, then the more background noise will get picked up in your audio recording. Shotgun microphones are also ideal if you're just looking to capture atmospheric or environmental audio from the scene that you're recording in. If you're gonna be using them outdoors in windy situations, then you can add a windsock or a dead cat in order to help reduce the wind noise going through the microphone. So as I mentioned, this is the Rode VideoMic Pro, and it's the shotgun microphone I use in most circumstances when I'm not interviewing. So when should you use a shotgun microphone? Well, really any situation where either your audio source is gonna be close to the camera, so like a, a quick interview like this would be fine, as long as there's no background noise, or if you're looking to capture background noise in the environment that you're filming. If you're doing any sort of interviewing, then I would always recommend to use a lavalier microphone where you can. So on that note, a lavalier microphone is awesome for any sort of interviews or pieces to camera where you have the ability to stick or mount the microphone on your talent. As with any audio recording, the closer you can get your microphone to the audio source, the better the audio quality and the less background noise that's picked up. And that's where lavalier microphones shine. Typically you're able to mount them, clamp them, or stick them close to the mouth of whoever is talking, which dramatically reduces any background noise or any other noise around being picked up by the microphone. In most cases, lavalier microphones don't handle wind noise well. So if you're gonna be filming outdoors and in windy conditions, then there's a couple of things that you can do to help reduce the impact of the wind on the microphone. But if you're just looking to clip the microphone onto a t-shirt, then it's gonna be pretty wind affected. I did a video a long while back, it was actually one of the first ones on this channel, on how to hide your lapel microphone or your lavalier microphone and still get great audio. And I'll put a link on screen now. So anytime I need to record anyone talking direct to camera, I'll do my best to get a lavalier microphone on them. In most cases, you can actually run up to two of these microphones directly into your cameras using a splitter, allowing you to get great audio from two different people at once. As I mentioned, this is the Boya BYM1. It's the mic that I regularly use when creating my weekly content videos. I really like this one because it has a long cable. It also works with smartphones, laptops, and DSLRs straight out of the box, and it sells for under $20 US on Amazon. So I suppose the last thing to mention is that lavalier microphones typically come in two flavors, wired or wireless. Now wireless is awesome if you need the flexibility of whoever you're trying to capture audio from being able to move around. And also if you need quite a bit of distance between the talent and the camera, then wireless is probably the best option there. But wherever possible, I try to use a wired solution. So that way there's no chance of any interference coming through any of the wireless microphones, and there's much less chance of batteries going flat if you're using wired. One of the things that annoys me watching some videos and it really looks unprofessional is when some people are mic'd up with lapel microphones or lavalier microphones and others are just being picked up by the shotgun microphone. Totally different, some audio is really clear and then others has a heap of background noise in it as well. 
If you don't have enough microphones to go around everyone that's going to be speaking, then I would highly recommend to keep the audio consistent and just use the one shotgun microphone and capture the audio so at least everyone sounds the same. So there you have it, it's pretty simple, but it's really important that you get the right microphone for your shooting and video style. If you found this video helpful, we really appreciate a share or a thumbs up or a comment. If not, thumb it down, we'd love the feedback. Make sure you subscribe over at primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to all our weekly updates. We'll see you next time.